Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to play I'd Rather Go Blind, as recorded by Etta James on guitar. Now this is a classic rhythm and blues tune that's been recorded by a ton of people. And the cool thing about it is you only need two chords to play it. I'm gonna break it down for you top to bottom. We're gonna go over that intro lead part and then we're gonna get into the chords as well. But before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you the five must know chords and scales for learning the entire neck. And this is gonna help you for learning more songs and also for improvising on your guitar. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. With that said, let's dive into this song. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this song has like a 12-8, or for the sake of this lesson, I'm actually gonna be counting in 6-8 for our feel and time signature. So we're gonna have this one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six type of feel to it. Now we're gonna use just two chords, an A and a B minor, and we're gonna play this. And that's it, that's the progression for the entire song. So it just repeats over and over. So the chords I'm playing are A, which is just from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. And I actually don't even go to that high E string a lot of the times. So I'm just gonna be focusing when we do our picking for this on those middle strings. So that's the A chord, and you could play it with one finger if you wanted to, or however you play A, it's cool. Then from there, we're gonna move up to a B minor. Now this is a bar chord, but as I mentioned, when we do the picking, you don't actually need to bar. So we're just gonna play the middle strings, two, four, four, three. So those are our shapes. We've got A and B minor. Now the picking on this that I would do is something that's very useful for playing blues, especially in a six, eight feel. We're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing what's called arpeggio picking. So rather than strumming like one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm picking individual strings, but I'm letting them all ring out. And this is great practice for your time, just to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Try and keep those even. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing with my pick. I'm playing five, four, three, two. Okay, so I'm just going literally straight down, string to string, and then I come back up three, four. So it's five, four, three, two, three, four. Those are the string numbers that I'm counting there. So five, four, three, two, three, four. Just string to string there, and then you reset it. And just as a bonus tip here with the picking, a lot of times when I'm doing this type of pattern, I move in the direction that I'm going. So for instance here, those are all down picks. So down, 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 and then I go up, up, up with the picking hand. So from there, we're gonna play two bars of that on the A. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna move to the B minor chord. Now we're gonna do the same picking pattern, but we're now on a different chord. Still five, four, three, two, three, four, then reset. Now this B minor is gonna last twice as long. So we'll do four of those picking patterns. Then we'll go back to A. So each picking pattern is six beats or one bar. So we've got two A's, then four B minors, then two A's. And it actually ends up being an eight bar progression. 
Now, when you loop it back around, because remember, this is just gonna go over and over for the whole tune, we're gonna end with two bars of A and then start with two bars of A. So let's try it together. We're gonna play it two times through. Get ready, and I'll count you in. A one, two, three, four, five, six. To D minor. Stay there. Back to A. And then repeat. So practice that arpeggio picking, and it's not going to be perfect when you first start, but just start getting into that technique, and as I mentioned, it's really useful for blues guitar. So next, we're going to look at the lead that goes on top of that, and here we're going to play just more of a single note part on primarily the lower bass strings. It starts off like this. So we start off with this little pickup we're gonna hammer from the open sixth string down to the second fret. Then we'll play the fifth string open, and that's our open A, so. Now that starts on beat six as a pickup, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Okay, I love this part. Here we do a nice slide from the second fret to the fourth fret on the fifth string. Then we grab the second fret on the fourth string, then come back to that fourth fret on the fifth string, and then slide it back down. So we got this. And rhythmically, it starts on beat four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, three, four, five. Then we play the second fret of the low E to the second fret of the A string. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Then we have this really cool little pickup here that you can use throughout the song. It just goes. That's the low E, second fret, then the A string back to the second fret of the low E, and then back to the A string. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Then that's a little variation on that theme. We're gonna play the low E to the second fret, then the A string, back to the second fret of the low E, A string, back to the second fret of the low E, and then of course end back on the A note there, so. And it's counted like this, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and one. So here's that lead that goes on top of the chords. You hear this at the top of the song, played as one piece. Now remember, we're gonna come in on a pickup on beats six and one. Get set, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four, five. So make sure you've got the two chords together for the rhythm part, and then when you're ready, you can practice the lead on top of that. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And it's so useful for playing over chord progressions like this, 
and learning songs. And it's completely for free, so just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboardguide and download it right there as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you like Etta James, you should watch this video next.